Lorna Ashburn has been suffering from hip pain for three years. Essentially what this is saying is that because of your background, there is a medium risk of developing what we would consider a post-operative complication. The consultation occurring here uses a new AI system which helps determine the level of risk Lorna will be exposed to by undergoing surgery. I have arthritis in both hips, both knees. I am struggling. I've actually had to give up my job. We saw that the cardiovascular history and the, the smoking history and, and the consequences of smoking were the biggest determinants of your outcome from uh, developing a risk post-operatively. Hopefully I'm getting a hip replacement which will take away the pain. But I want to be more active and get back into walking my dog longer, things like that. Lorna's being treated at the Wandsbeck Hospital in Northumberland. She's been told it's a five-month wait for her surgery. This new AI model has been developed by orthopaedic surgeons Justin Green and Mike Reed at the Northumbria Healthcare NHS Trust. It measures risk associated with surgery. Traditionally, factors such as previous heart attacks and strokes present significant risk factors for somebody about to undergo surgery. The AI model takes into account 220 different factors to work out each individual patient's risk. A patient comes for an operation, they bring with them a, you know, a lifetime of medical history as well. Uh, that's really important to the patient, um, but it takes a lot of determining or a lot of understanding from a clinical perspective in terms of how that influences the outcome of their operation. What we're doing with this system is using artificial intelligence or, or machine learning to try and predict the outcome of surgery for patients. So essentially trying to predict what complications they may have and also to try and work out potentially the best site for them to have their surgery. Staff shortages and ongoing fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic have placed immense pressure on the NHS. Cutting waiting lists is one of a growing list of priorities for the health service. We're currently working with hip and knee replacement and that's partly because it's a very common operation. Most patients don't require um, intensive care facilities when, they, when they're having an operation, but some do. Um, and it's important to work out which patients require which um, hospital when they have their surgery. And what we're working with with this machine learning algorithm is to try and improve that prediction. With over 6 million people in the UK waiting for routine hospital treatment, Hospital waiting lists have become a massive issue, putting increasing strain on the system. Hospital trusts are exploring and experimenting with things like this AI to try and tackle the problem. But with wider concerns about artificial intelligence and data privacy, are these technologies a good fit with healthcare? The BMA has been concerned for a while about the use of data, particularly patient identifiable data, uh, being sold to third parties for profit making reasons. It's, it, there is a tension in the system because you need to make sure that the different systems that you've got can interoperate so that one app can talk to another app so that the information can be shared usefully. You've got to make sure that any new systems that get brought in respect the patient's privacy and respect the importance of the NHS's interoperation being done in a secure way. Northumbria's AI model is hosted in Microsoft's Azure Cloud using the company's existing machine learning infrastructure. The raw data entered into the system is anonymized. Microsoft doesn't and cannot look at the data that's created in projects like this. The data belongs to the NHS and belongs to, to you know, patients and clinicians. This technology could be applied to different types of surgery, and while it's likely artificial intelligence will have a greater role to play in medicine in the future, healthcare professionals stress that this is still just a tool to help inform decisions made by human caregivers.